Hi right, guys, welcome back to another Steam free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have Malishka. If I mispronounce anything, I apologize in advance. Uh, let's go through the credits before I forget. Oh, I'm sure it'll pop up once we get to the end. Maybe. I'll come back if it doesn't. Oh, never mind. We're stuck. These people. As all, I think there's five achievements. As always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you want to try it for yourself. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Helps the channel grow, and I always appreciate it. Sorry, I just woke up. The little doll. Under the sea. Rat room. The game creators. It's dark. It is. You blink. Slowly you begin to feel yourself. Use Watson to move. Use your mouse to look around. Oh, that's pretty down here. Okay. Perhaps she hasn't frozen to death yet. Person is like a ice water champion. You can go under this. Ah. Okay. Well. Oops. gonna make it nice we did it hello it's one of the little dollies Malishka you step into the Sun but the warmth doesn't reach your skin because it's snowing dude it's cold a frozen lake steadily you gaze down at your hands beneath you the light of the snow is visible through you, through you ghostly and pale am I dead hmm Ah, yes. There's something there. Now you're working on it. It's pretty cold out here, I'd bet. A Matryoshka doll. Matryoshka. You turn the doll over in your hands, expecting the craftsmanship. I think this is my doll. Hmm. Where's the rest of it? In the town? I'm dead. Normal girls aren't translucent. I should put those on. Okay. Uh, let's go put those on then. Boom. You pull on the coat and scarf, masking the pluidity of your skin. It feels as if you've worn this them a hundred times before. Much better now. A person. Hmm. Hello, person. What's up? What you doing? It's 2D! Hello, dear. Hello. He gives a soft smile. It evokes a nostalgic feeling, a nostalgic feeling in your chest. Where have I? Early morning for you, isn't it? What's her name? So... You... So... Sonia? Sophia? Ah, uh, it is early, I suppose. Why are you awake? He smiles again. I rise with the sun. I have to get an early start these days on my weaving. Hmm. I see. Speaking of which, I had better be go uh, going. Ah, wait. Can I help you, dear? I was wondering if you've seen any dolls like this one. She turns the doll over in her hands, eyes quizzical as she runs her fingers over the paint. What a beautiful doll. I feel like I've seen it before. There's that feeling again. Hmm, I'm not sure I can help you. But Father Mikhail should be able to. He knows everything that goes on around here. He'll be awake in the church by now. Thank you. Of course, dear. Safe travels. Hmm. Father Mikhail. Pretty world. All 3D and whatnot. I'm coming. That's oh, a bunny. Oh, he's fast. Ain't that fast. Hmm. Not as fast as a bunny from Mario, uh, Mario 64. 
Oh, he's a little fella. Good morning, child. How can I help you today? Good morning. I'm looking for a doll, and I was told you might know where it is. You hold the doll out to the priest. He leans forward to study it. Yes, yes. Oh. Yes, yes. You've seen it? Perhaps. Uh, Nikolai. Ah. Uh, I have seen this. Miss Blova recently found a doll similar to this one. She'll be preparing for school at this time of day. The school? Thank you. Alright, we're on to the school, I guess. Which one's the school? Is it up here? Can't do anything to that bunny. Is that a different bunny? No, that's the same bunny. He 2D. Nothing. What's the bunny called in Super Mario? Mipsy? Something like that? This has to be where the school is. This is such a foreboding area. Got you too, bud. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Hello? He blinks, never averting his gaze from its straight ahead position. You wave a hand in front of his face. Still, he doesn't look at you. I should. Throw a snowball at him. Watching him carefully, you bend to the ground and gather snow into your hands. Daddy? Winding up, you toss a snowball at him. He grunts irritatedly, but he still does, he doesn't look at you. Oh. Spared. Oh. Oh, this is not the school, I don't guess. Hello, is anyone in there? What do you want? Are you in charge of Tiki Vyavada? Hmm, yeah, sure. Do you need something? I'm busy. Leaderly duties? Yes? Hmm. Something tells me she's not being very le leaderly in there. All taxes, treaties, you know. I don't. I don't. Well, are you going to sit here and bother me all day, or can I return to my responsibilities? Of course, have a nice day. Brisk steps fade into nothing from behind the door. Huh. What is this castle over here, or factory? Where's the school at? Oh, my legs. Where the school is with the bonfire. This looks school like too. Oh, it is a school. Hey, what are you doing over here? Math? Nice. You stand behind Miss Belova, listening to her mutter something or other about the mess. Excuse me. She gasped, turning around quickly. Ah. Oh, you startled me. I'm sorry, Father Mikhail said to come clean the school. Oh, thank goodness. This place is a pigsty. Uh, well... I need the desk cleans. Just because my class keeps shrinking doesn't mean this school can fall into ruin. But... Ah. No buts. I want this place spick and span. Chop chop. My doll. Maybe if I help her first she'll listen. I'm not exactly pressed for time. Nice. Nice. I like the minigame. That's cool as heck, actually. Big fan. Ha ha ha. You thought. Mm hmm. It's clean. I'm never interacting with this specific desk again. Oh, did it traumatize you? We're desk cleaning champions!
Boom, baby. Nailed it. Cleaned achievement. Yeah, yeah. Finished? Yes? Oh, you're such a gem. This place looks wonderful. I haven't had a helper by this thorough, be this thorough since, well, her name slipped my mind, but I digress. Your chest swells with pride, but your desire to obtain your doll quickly overcomes it. I'm glad to be of help. Now, can you do so the same for me? Ah, yes. What seems to be the problem? I'm looking for a matryoshka doll. Father Mikhail said that you found one. You hold the doll out to her. She leans forward, lowering her glasses to take in a sight. Her eyes light with recognition. Ah, yes. I'm glad its owner sh I have. I'm glad its owner showed up. Turned up. He hands you the doll. Nice. Your reunion with your doll fills you with joy. <laughs> you snap into it into place, safely casing encasing the first. That's cute. Oh, you're such a gem. Thank you for all your help, little one. I know you'd r rather be playing with the other children. That's okay, Miss Belova. You stand on your tiptoes to erase the last chalk of the chalk. White dust falling onto your face and tickling your nose. Here. He kneels down beside you, pulling a handkerchief from her habit and wiping the chalk off your face. I'm glad you're such a kind heart. He finishes cleaning your face with a smile. Just make sure you're being kind to yourself, too. You grin toothily back at her. Tell me, Miss Belova, I will. Is that me? Was that my memory? You look again at your doll. Miss Belova was my teacher. Hmm, the plot thickens. I best keep looking for the other pieces. I need to get my doll back. Hey, we got one of the achievements. Skull Sprinkles. Alright, what's up now? Where to? Make my day. No, I fa oh, look at this. It's got an exclamation point on it. Should we go to this one? Uh oh. Uh oh. What's up, dude? You got dolls? <laughs> Hello. Welcome to my shop. Trinkets galore. What tickles your fancy? Oh, nothing today. I don't have money. Why did you come to my the shop then? You chuckle at first, thinking he's joking, but his face doesn't change. Quickly, you cough to mask the mistake. Hmm. Uh, what kind of things do you sell? Oh, all hmm. sorts of things. Books, toys, knickknacks, this and that. Dyslexic. Where did you get that? Them. Where you normally get trickants. Raise an eyebrow at him. You'll excuse me. No, oh, have you seen any dolls like the one I have? Hmm. A doll? Let me look at it. If you sell my doll, I'll beat you to death. You hand him the doll, and he examines it closely. Exquisite and so nostalgic. He sets it down on the counter. Just beautiful. I've got another one that would match them perfectly on my shelf over there. Craig, can I have it? A laugh <laughs> bubbles in his chest, soon erupting onto his face. <laughs> You're a funny girl. He wipes a stray tear from the corner of his eye. Ah, uh, excuse me. I'd be out of business if I went on giving out trinkets for free. Oh, right. And if I remember correctly, you don't have any money. That won't do at all. However, you're in luck. He retrieves a pile of something wrapped in cloth, placing it upon the counter. I've come across this toy recently, a real beauty, but it's all in pieces. You can put this together for me. You can have the doll, free of charge. I got need a drink, bro. Really? Absolutely. Hmm. Here you can swear. Have a go at it when you're ready. Are you talk me into it? Doll, oh, this is easy. It's a boat, dude. This is easy. Easy peasy. Oh. 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 Messing a piece, bro. Tinker achievement. Nice. Now give me my doll. Finished? All done. How does it look? 
He pours over the toy, inspecting the nooks and crannies. Give me my doll. Hmm. Ah, looks wonderful, my girl. You've outdone yourself. Well, a promise is a promise. I suppose you can have that doll now. That's right. Really? He reaches up to the shelf, plucking the doll off and handing it to you. Thank you. Looks wonderful, my girl. You're a natural. You really think so? Pinky swear. You sigh dreamily, admiring your work. Handiwork. I like this better than going out with Papa. I know I'm supposed to help him, but this makes my heart happy. It's important that your heart is happy. There's little life in the monotonous. Hmm. He stands from the table, wrapping the toy up and replacing it with a few shiny coins. For your excellent work today. The coins gleam in the light. Your heart gleams brighter. So I wanted to apprentice under Nikolai. Hmm. But I guess I never will. A distant star sinks into your chest. Those dolls won't find themselves. Who are you? Beepy fellow? A lady? Dude? Oh, it's a girl. You approach the panicked girl before you. Are you alright? She fidgets with her hands, bouncing back and forth on her feet. <gasps> no, 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 not at all. What am I going to do? Slow down. What's the problem? Um. <laughs> uh. Uh, I left my ballet slippers in the factory. Now my shift's over, and there's no way Lord Dania is going to let me back inside. Even worse, he'll find them and throw them away. I saved for ages to buy those. <laughs> Maybe if you explain the situation, he'll make an exception. Uh. There's no way. Have you met Lordania? He'll have my head. Even if he decided to be nice today, I don't have the time. I promised Father Mikhail that I'd help him clean the church after my shift. Hmm? Unless... Fixes you with a revel revelatory look. You could talk to him for me. It's not He's nicer to strangers anyways. Eh. Uh, hmm. Please, 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 I'll do anything. I really should keep searching for my dolls. You look to her, hands clasped and pleading. But I suppose. Hmm. Fine, I'll help you. Just stop looking at me like that. <gasps> oh, thank you so much. Now listen, be super nice to him. Spare no pleasantry. No matter how rude he is, my future depends on it. I have to go to the church now, but come get me once you talk to Lordania. My happiness is in your hands. Oh. Um, sure thing. She's off in a flurry, leaving you alone. No pressure. Off to the factory, then. Yeah, I wouldn't put my happiness on someone else's hands. That's questionable. Ah, wow, you can fly in this game. I didn't even know you could sprint, but look at that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's a long jump. You raise your fist and... The heavy door, eliciting a resonant knock when you, where you make contact. A moment later, a slot screeches open and a pair of hostile looking eyes look you up and down. Oh, hey, there is eyes. What the hell? You muster the most polite face you can make. Hello, my name is, um, do you have a moment to talk? What do you want? You do your best not to bristle. I'm here on behalf of someone I know. She's just left the factory, but it looks like she accidentally left something of hers in the factory. He squints at you. What's that got to do with me? Um, well, I was hoping you would let me inside so I could get it for her. Factory personnel only. But could you please consider making an exception, please? No. But... He shuts the slot before you can say anything else. Ugh! Better break the news to Pa. Or... We break in. No, I'm just kidding. We're not gonna break in. Yet. Here I come! To save the day! Hey, you're back and you don't have my slippers. What happened? 
Oh, Daniel wouldn't let me, won't let me in. Hmm. Uh, I don't know why I thought he'd let you in. You need to get inside the factory. You left her ballet slippers in there. Well, if not the front door, maybe the back. A priest? What? Uh, I'm sure there's another way inside. Har Eager used to be business partners with that man. Maybe he can help you. Good idea, Father. Would you talk to Ego for me? I'm still busy here. I've got it. If only to spite that stupid businessman. Uh, robbery, huh? Not exactly my forte, but where's Igor at? Igor! Igor! Oh wait, he's in the church somewhere. I made a mistake. Mistakes were made! Maybe. Maybe he's behind the church. No. It's an outhouse. What a fancy outhouse. Okay, into the church. Old Quasimodo in here's gotta help me into the place. Where's he at? Where would he be at? Hmm. Igor. Igor. Have an exclamation point here. Weird. Hmm. Hmm. Where's Igor at? Hmm. Ah, whatever. The bells of Notre Dame. Uh, well, Igor, I'm just going to look at the back door. I ain't going to mess with this no more. I don't know who Igor is. Wait a second, there's no back door back here. What? Bamboozled. Uh, Igor's got to be somewhere else. For sure. Got an Igor in here, are you Igor? Oh, wow. Hello. He looks to you grunting a greeting. How can I help you, stranger? Just exploring, what are you up to? Just the day's work. That's nice. He's not very talkative. Um, I'm not much of a conversationalist. You give him a smile. No worries, take care. He huffs a noise that sounds almost like a CU returning to his duties. Gary. Gary Bearman. Boat down. Nothing. Oh. Oh, hello. You feel a strange pang in your chest at the sound of his voice, gruff yet comfortable. Are you a traveler? Me? Yes, I am. Ah, you spoke to my wife earlier. Welcome to Tiki Yavada. Or, um. His eyes go askance, huffing another noise. What is it? Mm, we're growing larger. More people are moving here to work in not that eyesore. We won't be a village much longer. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. <clears throat> it's not your fault. Just that desperate running the place. Think about asking him more, but his mind seems to have drifted away already. I'd better left leave him be. What do you want? Thank you. Of course, dear. Safe travels. See you later, then. Anything hidden in here that you want to give me? Like, that fish? He's probably somewhere near the church, but I'm not giving up yet. Take this! Are you Igor? I doubt it. That is one burly man. That will not talk to me for some reason. Seems like he's glitched. Igor! Oh wait, here we go. See, there's two exclamation points. They were trying to throw me off on purpose. 
Oh wait. Oh, uh, maybe the exclamation points don't mean anything. Okay. Who's Igor, dude? Okay, so the exclamation points mean nothing. Hmm. Who are you? Hello. He doesn't respond, raptured with his handiwork. You knock on the desk, catching his attention. No. Oh, terribly sorry. What can I help you with? Did you used to be business partners with Lordania? He smiles, fades as quickly as it came. Well, it's not anymore. That was a dark chapter of my life. One I'd prefer not to rehash, if you, you'll excuse me. I have work to do. Ah, uh, wait. I'm asking because I need your help. He glances back over. My friend left something there. Lord Daniel won't let me inside to get it. Father Mikhail says that you used to work in the factory. I was hoping you could show me a new way to get in, a secret passage or something. Best dad cup. You don't need to do anything else. He heaves a deep sigh, shutting his eyes. I'll help you. That man has it coming. I still have this key. There's a back door that I'll unlock. Thank you so much. Listen to me. Be careful in there. It's not safe. It isn't safe. You nod solemnly. I will. He sighs again, turning back to his work table. Good luck. Wonder who his kid is. Is it me? Look at that cat. Cute. That is cute. No globe. That is also cute. That was me when I was a child. Maybe. Best dad, mug number two. He's got two best dad mugs. Pet the kitty. Okay. Well, I'm glad we found that. And I'm glad we found out that exclamation points mean nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Where would this back door be? If I was a back door, where would I be? More like a side door, bro. That's a side door. What's up, dude? Um, excuse me. The man turns around, eyebrows shooting up as he sees you. <gasps> Who are you? What are you? Why are you in here? I'm here for Pa. I need to f get something from her workstation. Uh. Pa's friend. Why didn't you say so? I just did. Mm. Right. Her workstation is that way. He points toward a table in the corner. Get in, get out. It's not safe here. No kidding. Why is it not safe here? Because it's a factory. Who are you, little child? Hey there. Hello, what are you up to? Just widening down my shift. Have fun with that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's a cactus. What are they making? Cactuses? Oh, that door's locked. What desk did you say it was on, bro? Oh. Here they are. I better take these to the church. Or we should investigate. I can go into this box. Nice. I'm reality warping. Um, excuse me. Oh, I already talked to him. Uh. Mm. He ain't gonna say nothing new? Okay, cool. Get off me! Alright. That's it, I guess. Shoes acquired. Huzzah! Look at those birds. Pretty. It's a very pretty game. All right, lady. Give me my doll. Oh, she don't have one. I found your slippers. <gasps> she gasped, taking them gleefully. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a lifesaver. It was no trouble. It was a lot of trouble. Okay, I'm so happy. I can't thank you enough. 
Is there anything I can do for you to show you how much I can't thank you? Well, I'm looking for a doll, one like this. You pull out the doll, showing it to her. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've seen one of those. Really? Where? Right here. He pulls a doll from the pocket of her jacket. Wonderful. I found it this morning. I didn't realize someone was looking for it. You take the doll from her hand, closing it around the others. Pa finishes your twirl with a flourish, posing and waiting for applause. Wow, that was so cool. She bows, sitting down on the floor next to you. I, I'll need to be better if I ever want to make it to Moscow. Moscow. Moscow? Dance in the capital. It's my dream, and I'll never stop chasing it. Wow. I think I'm going to start working in that factory, the one new one that they're building. I can start saving young. You love some, lose some enthusiasm, but keep your smile. That's a good idea. I hope it works out for you. Who murdered me? So, we were friends. Um, Pa? Yes? Good luck with your dream. She grins toothily. Thanks, stranger. Aw. Uh, now what do we do? What are these achievements? By the way, no rush. You can do it, Steam. I believe in you. I believe in you. One day. Um. Uh, that's a school, right? Who's this person? Got. Hello. Go away, I'm playing. Oh, sorry. Okay. Sick. This place has my exclamation point now. Alright. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Sorry to bother you. I've been I'm looking for a doll and I was wondering if you've ever seen one like this anywhere. You hand him the doll, a melancholy look washes over him. Yes, I've seen one of those. My, the hunter, his cabin is by the woods. Uh. Thank you. Hmm. I, I guess, I know where he lives. I talked to him earlier. He better not murder me. Hello. Ahem. You look around his cabin, spotting one of your dolls in a far, on a far shelf. Philip said I'd find you here. Could I have that doll on your shelf? What? No way! But it's mine. What if you're lying? That doll is a good luck charm. Reminds me of my niece. I needed to catch the bear in the woods. Good luck charm. Oh, was I your niece? For a successful hunt, all the smog, smog and factory noise has been scattering the animals off. It's getting harder and harder to get what I need for the village. I lost my eye to a bear. Don't want anyone else getting hurt. Oh, I see. This one's aggressive. I wrestled with it once already. It managed to get away unscathed. I've got to jump the gun before it decides to come to town. He wrestled a bear? Maybe if I find it for him, he'll give me the doll. Who needs a good luck charm when the bear's already handled? I see. Good luck to what you're hunting then. Okay, we're gonna go fight a bear then. Okay, sick. Yeah, that'll go swimmingly. I see the bear prince. Ah! Oh. What happens if the bear kills me? I get an achievement? I don't know. Give me an achievement. Oh, it's already dead. Oh, the bear's dead. You've been down next to it. No blood in its teeth or claws. It must have died of natural causes. I should tell Grigori. It looks like a dolphin, dude. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's <laughs> the 2 d just makes it look so flat and dolphin-like, bro. That's a b a bolfin. Borofin.
Dolph here. Bear's dead. What? The bear is dead. You can't you take me there. Yeah, I did it. I killed the bear. I'm the best. I'll be darned. He kneels beside it. You are the worthy adversary, friend. He rises back to height, turning to you. Thank you for your help. You can have the doll now. I'll be taking this back to the village. Razio will want the fur for coats. Hand you the doll, blush still clear on his face as he mutters unintelligibly. Your feet crunch through the snow, covering your boots in the pristine white powder. Lighter, they'll heal you otherwise. You lessen the weight of your footsteps, quieting the sound. Better. You walk in silence, listening and watching for signs of the deer you're tracking. He raises a hand, both of you halting in place. Up ahead. A herd of deer stands serenely in the clearing ahead. Good tracking skills. You're not keen to follow your father's footsteps. You shake your head before you can finish. I'm still his apprentice. This is extra money for us. I can't be your protege. So, I think her dad was the guy that gave us the key to the back door. Why is it so dark outside? What the heck? It's scary. Um. What now? This place has fire coming out of it, so it's probably the right place, right? Hello. Hello, sir. Hello? He fails to notice you before him. Oh, wait, is this the same? Oh. What is it, Vanya? His demeanor changes as he sees you. Oh, terribly sorry. I was in my own little world. <laughs> Can I help you with something? Just looking around. These clocks are impressive. Did you make these? What? My clocks? Yes, yes, I did. Clocks are the best machine. Useful, practical, no harm in them whatsoever. No harm at all. He trails off quickly, attention diverting once more to the clock parts before him. Banya. Hey, cat. What are you doing, open still? Same thing. Oh, scared me, bro. Go away, I'm playing. Oh, sorry. Go play somewhere else, kid. Oh yeah, I need to talk to what's-his-face, the Fisher man. He might have something new for me. Oh. You approach the couple after spending the day looking glassy-eyed. Clarity seems to have reached them. Are you two all right? Sophia sighs. Phillips brow furring. No, dear, we aren't. We got in a fight with our daughter last night and she still hasn't come home. Oh, I'm their daughter. Okay. Normally she'd cave and come at home after hiding out in someone's house, else's house for the day. But... A few sniffles bringing a hand to her face. It seems like we've looked this place top to bottom, but she still hasn't turned up. Worrying their voices makes your tw chest twinge vaguely. What is this? Um, if you'd like, I could ask around for her. Oh, would you? Thank you, we'd appreciate it. Okay, so we gotta go ask people something. Alright. Sick. Okay, then they're the parents. Allegedly. Oh, this toy maker. Have you seen anybody? Hello there, my girl. Hello. You wouldn't have happened to have seen Philip and Sophia's daughter anywhere, have you? Hmm. Can't say that I have. Oh. Quite the disappointment indeed. She's been stopping by often to help out for some extra money. It's strange that she's a no-show. That's not like her. Thanks anyway. 
Anytime. Come again, my girl. Me, I'm dead. Well, that's what it is. What's this? Huh. Oh. What? Oh, I could pick this up and snowball people. <laughs> I know who to do this to. Vengeance will be mine. You little turd. Go away, I'm playing. Okay, I can't hear her. Are you kidding me? Oh, I can put out the fire. No, I can't. I can't do anything. What the heck? No ball ability is useless. Ah. Stuck. Stuck! Okay, sick. Maybe if I have more snowball. I can pick that one up. This time it's for real. Nope, okay. That guy still won't talk to me. Cool, okay. Then the hunter's house. Hello? Ah, good luck charm. What brings you here? Searching? I'm looking for Philip and Sophia's daughter. My niece. I haven't seen her. She's always out fishing. No time for living anymore. She'll dig herself an early grave at this rate. The CERN paints his face. She'll turn up. Don't worry. Where's Mori? Mm hmm. You are the person, obviously. Come on now. The. Don't you remember your flashback? Hello, sir. Hello? Oh, same. Good luck with those. Mm, yes, thank you. Okay, my bad. Um, only the exclamation point places, huh? You hear humming a familiar melody while tidying her desk. Excuse me. Ah, uh, how may I help you? Philip and Sophia are looking for their daughter. They haven't seen her since yesterday. Do you know where she might be? She brings a finger to her chin, pondering the question. I haven't seen her today either, I'm afraid. She stopped coming around here to help a little while ago. Something about needing more time to focus on her work. Poor girl. Oh, that's a shame. You're quite right about that, dear. Good luck on your search. All right. I was kidnapped by the rich people and murdered. Maybe. Hello. Oh. Hi there. Hello. I have another favor to ask. What's the problem? I'm looking for Philip and Sophia's daughter. Have you seen her recently? Mm, now that you mention it, I haven't seen her today. She's been too busy for me lately, always going on about how to make some more money. I see. Well, thanks anyway. Hmm. No problem. If you see her, tell her to stop worrying for me. She'll have premature recalls at this age. So, she's a workaholic. Apprentice is under her father, the fisherman. She's not on, out on the lake, is she? Hmm. I should tell Philip and Sophia. The worried faces flash into your mind. Then again, they're beside themselves. I should look first to make sure. I don't want them to stress them needlessly. Hmm. Ah, you got you glitching. Get that off of me. Hello there, little one. Did you ever find your doll? The same thing. Okay. So yeah, her dialogue glitch. Hopefully it'll go away when I go outside. Of course not! Of course not! 
Uh, why did this happen? Yeah, well, it is what it is. Under the sea. Under the sea. I don't swim down. Here I go. What's the worst that can happen? I'm already dead. Your words do little to reassure you, but you try to shake the feeling of unease nonetheless, stilling yourself for the journey ahead. I am. Am I? Here I go. I think I jumped into the wrong part of the water. How do you swim down? Ah, here we go. I know. I know. Here we go. Can I swim down, actually? Oh my god. This is impossible. You won't swim down, dude. Swim down. I wish this stupid dialogue would get off the screen too. Get out of here, pa, you turd. Quit saying that. Just stop. Stop it. The wind begins to pick you up around you, whistling in your ears. You feel a semblance of a chill. I hope I'm wrong about this. A strong gust of wind blows your cloak from your body. It flies off toward the village out of reach. Goodbye, cloak. You felt like home. Oh, there's a doll over here. Nice. I'm old enough. I can do it. We've been... We've been out a hundred times, Papa. I can promise I can do it myself. Philip shakes his head resolutely. Out of the question. It's too dangerous. You sigh heavily. For the last time. I'm not repeating myself again. I'm trying to save our shop, Papa. Why can't you understand? He understands perfectly, dear. We're, we've concerned, we're concerned for your safety above all. Excuse me. But... Enough, Yiva. You're not to go on the ice alone, and that's final. You open your mouth to protest, but your mother's storm glare has you quite... quite in a split second. You surrender, storming to your room. Hours pass, but sleep does not take you. Snow flurries outside your window. The night is dark and quiet, only disturbed by the factory churning beneath the wind's howl. You let your steps fade quietly into the noise, collecting your fishing kit from beneath your bed. The warm glow of your lantern guides you to the bank. Already, the cold grips you vicely, but you're determined to be stronger than it. Holding your cloak close to yourself, you step out onto the lake. Steady now. You walk for what feels like hours. Snow envelops you, seeping through your clothes and chilling you to the bone. The gale force of it threatens to steal your cloak away, but you hold tight to the clasp, pressing on all the while. Your lantern has failed you. You can barely see a foot ahead of you, its yellow corona rendered useless by the billowing cold. Another gust, gust knocks, uh, eyelash got my eye, knocks it from your hands. The glass shatters against the ice, flames sputtering out with the exposure to the dense air. Oh. You hug yourself, trying to feel as you've as if you haven't made a terrible mistake. For the shop, for the family. You turn on your heel cautiously, reckoning you've been unswerving the whole way. Surely, if you keep straight, you'll find your way back to shore. Carefully. Freeze in place, afraid to move. What does Papa always say? Get low, distribute your weight. Bending your knees only serves to aggravate the ice. You hear it fracturing further. Splittage dancing across the surface like it doesn't know how to stop. No, no. 
You muster all your courage to make a run for it. You must your feet slip on the ice, barely staying upright against the slick surface. But you hear the glassy planes crackling beneath you, Fisher chasing you with a purpose. Keep running, just keep running, just keep... Your heart drops into your stomach as you fall. The water rushes around you, the shock of the cold stills the air from your lungs. Thrashing, you fight at the surface, but the Brummel Lake which numbs your skin and seeps into your joints. You throw your cloak from your shoulders, hoping the resistance it posed would lead you to the air in its absence. Breathing is futile, water is invading your lungs and forcing you into coughing fits that banishes the last air of the air in your chest. I don't, I can't. Of course, of course, of course, of course. I'm. I'm their daughter and Gregory's niece, Pa's best friend, and Miss Belova's student, and Nikolai's helper, and. I'm gone. I don't want to go. I don't. Your heart is caught in your throat. I have to. Oh. I missed two achievements. Duck! Hmm. These people. And this dang dialogue box that won't go the heck away. I wonder if all the achievements work because I didn't seem to get the ending achievement. Yeah, I don't think all the achievements work in the game. Sadly. Because I figured this one's probably throwing the snowball at that one dude, probably. Um, Alright guys, well, thanks for watching as always. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!